guess what? I'm in Portland again. Portland, Texas. It's getting to that time of year where it is so hard to do anything. It's like the most simple mundane tasks take all of my energy. And I know a lot of people feel this way at this time of year, but it doesn't make it any easier. Anyway, what better time to go and stare longingly at the sea? I've been wanting to beach cam for a while. My van does not have high clearance or big tires, but the one thing about being in Texas is you can drive right up on the beach. So I'm gonna go take advantage of that. Every time I come to the grocery store, I walk in here without a basket. Big mistake, honey. Waddling around Walmart. On my way to my campsite, I started to think about van life and how this would be my third year living in a vehicle. I also started to think about why I had never seen any other van lifers do things like go to a bar or hang out with other people in a normal setting. After a while, I realized I was totally just projecting and I was actually having these questions about myself. I don't know why I spent so much of my early life living in a vehicle, so alone and away from other people, but with all of the changes happening in my life, I figured I might be able to change that too. I didn't know if it would happen on this trip, but I promised myself I would stay open to it, just in case it did. Oh my gosh. There's mosquitoes everywhere. I decided to come to like a wildlife park because I miss seeing animals. If I'm alone, you know, I want some some bird friends around or something, especially during seasonal depression time. Um, but there are freaking mosquitoes everywhere. Like I don't know if I'm imagining them or if they're real. Keys Louise. I would put the windows down and get some fresh sea air, except there are mosquitoes outside of my window trying to come in. And I feel like that's a bad sign. Mosquitoes are really bad in Texas. I know that they're called the state bird of what, like Alaska or Michigan or something, but Texas has to be a close second with how bad. Oh, look at the wildlife. I found some. Hey girl. It's me, Alyssa Vanilla. I... Oh, oh, oh. So let me give you a recap of what I have been doing. Um, I have been hiding inside of my van because I think... I came to the mosquito epicenter of the world. There are currently some in my van that are just waiting to attack me. I don't know where, I can only hear them, I can't see them. It's terrifying. The good news is I have a little bit of light in my van and I actually need to put more up. So it's fine that I'm gonna be stuck in here because I have housekeeping things to do. So I will just go ahead and do that. Sad update. I wanted to make dinner, but I cannot risk cracking my window right now. Therefore, I cannot burn fuel in here right now. So I'm just gonna have to eat snacks, I guess, for the entire time that I'm here.
I'm starving. I'm totally about to fold. I'm totally about to just risk the mosquitoes because I am hungry. And I had this wonderful idea to make some corned beef hash. And I've decided that I'm just still going to. And yes, I may get carbon monoxide poisoning. But I'm going to have to... Did I bring fuel? Oh my gosh, I did. It's attached to my heater. <gasps> oh, hallelujah. Wait, wait, wait. Now you may be wondering, also, why aren't you cooking on your countertop? Because I like to be on the floor. I don't know what that's about, but that's why I really wanted to keep so much of the van open for floor space because I just really like being on the floor. Looks like cat food. Wow. This is actually amazing. Good morning. I slept really well last night. I did have to use my down alternative blanket. It's a um, it's a rumple blanket. I'm sure, y'all have heard of them. Anyway, you're not gonna get much of a morning routine from me this morning because I woke up really late and I need to check out now. But I feel like it's mission accomplished. Like I just wanted to make sure that I actually successfully prepared my van for full time living, which I think I have. So now it's time to start wild camping again. No more campgrounds. Campgrounds are great, but they're, they're a good safety net. But it's time to branch out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to go somewhere else today. Time to be a wild woman again. I'd like to say I thought about something deep and existential on my drive this time, but mostly all I could do was think about whether or not I was going to get stuck in the sand when I finally got to the beach. Admittedly, this did trigger some feelings of insecurity. I started to have doubts about whether or not I was capable of all that van life entailed. I mean, this was my third vehicle, but maybe it's truly third time's a charm. At least I hope. It was a pretty clear day, and as I got closer to the beach, I was filled with both excitement and nervousness. It was beautiful, but could also be my undoing. Rest assured, once I finally pulled up on the sand, I didn't get stuck. I thought I was gonna get here too late because I left late again today, but 
getting here at sunset was actually the best idea ever not that it was intentional but wow i couldn't imagine a better time to pull up the sunset is absolutely beautiful it's so calm i have more privacy than i thought it's a little chilly but it's so nice here Hearing the sea literally at my back door all night is going to be so amazing. It's like a free noise machine. My home is cozy. I'm at a beautiful place for free. I'm really back on the road. It feels so good.